All right, so quick video. Here's the big server, Define 7XL. I'm not going to pull any of these drives out, but I can show you how I get mounted. There is a little tab way back there, right here. There's a hook on the end of the drive sled that hooks into that. You hook it in that. Um, then there is the slot over there in the back, right? There's a tab on the end that goes in that slot. And then if we look closer here, thumb screw here, there is actually a little ledge underneath that each of these sit on. Um, I should grab the flashlight, but there's a little ledge right there that each of these sit on right below that thumb screw. So you kind of, you kind of um, put it, hook it like that and screw it in with your thumb. From the other side, uh, you can see all that you can see is there's a little tab of the drive bay right here. And then there's the locator pin right there. So tab goes in, pin pokes through the little hole right there. Then once, as long as that pin's aligned, the thumb screw, and you set it on the ledge, the thumb screws should align on the other side. The kitten has come in here to take her throne. Yeah, Charles Peasley. I don't want to take those out because that server's running. We'll go to the one that's being built. Alright. This is in the normal Define 7 non XL. So. Unscrew the thumb screw. There is the ledge that the, like basically this part sits on is right there. Also, there is one screw I forgot to mention last time when moving this. It's right here originally. It goes to right there. You're going to need a pretty small screwdriver and or take the front fans out and you go through. They actually leave you a specific hole on the front right there to access that screw. You will need a longer screwdriver though. Um, now to get this to go in, imagine it has a drive on it, right? So what you're going to do, not the bottom one, cause that can be a little tricky with this here, but the second one. So you take the little tab on the end, the little hook guy, right? And then there, okay. So here's the tab or sorry, there's the hook. There's the tab. You go in, um, let me zoom on in. Whoa, I dropped my camera. So we zoom on in, you hook the hook in there, see, hook the hook, and then tab the tab, so that goes like that, and then the screw hole should line up on that side, and then if you notice, if those two things happen, you know, like, because the tab is right there, it goes through the hole, and then there's a screw hole where from the other side you could put a screw in to reinforce it, this side will be aligned the way it should be and sitting on that little ledge right there and you just take this and you thumb screw it in and as long as you get that little tab over there in properly this thing even without the additional screw is now imagine that with a drive on it it's pretty rock solid so um and i would start top and go down uh it's just easier to hook them in from underneath and see what you're doing if you do it the opposite way it gets a little a little tougher um yeah they can unscrew this Let's see it unscrews we're going to go up here hook it in push it over And screw this in. It's easier if you have two hands. There you go. We're in there solid. Now we can take a look at the other side. Here's what that looks like. These hooks are hooked in. We'll zoom to the 
the 2x. See the hooks are hooked in. Here. These screw hole is aligned. And then that is why you don't really need this screw. This screw, all the all this screw does in my opinion is make it so that you need to open up this front side of the case to get the drive out. Because if that tab right there is in properly, that's going to locate it vertically up and down. Um, that, you know, that kind of locates it. Then that puts it in place and you screw. It's got three of four points held in. Uh, now, if you do plan on moving it around a bunch, uh, maybe put the screws in. I leave off. You can put, the, after you convert this from like water cooling mode to storage mode, which is like this, where you pull this panel forward. You can put that plastic piece back. I definitely wouldn't recommend putting the screws in then because then every time you got to take that plastic piece off. I personally just never replace the plastic piece because uh, it's a looks only thing and I've just had worse luck with it being in the way I can't. Like sometimes if the if I feel like the tab or, or uh, you know, like the hook and the tab aren't going in correctly, I'd have to pop that plastic piece off to see. I'd rather just leave it off. The other plastic piece I leave off uh, is the one for right here because I regularly just have to get in there. Um, here's that piece. It just goes like this and like that. I just see no point in that. It, like it's fine. I'm sure with people that that really care about their um, cable management that they they want to hide what's in the basement. But basically, that means if you take the back panel off and need to access anything, you have to take this off. Um, so I just don't put it in there personally, um, cause the back panel is closed. It's solid on my case. I don't see any of this. Also, it's not even just wires down here. This entire back, once you fill this with drives is just all wires. Uh, so if anything, this just makes it harder to cable manage. I, I do think Fractal did a good design with it though, in the fact that if you look, they, um, if I got that side in properly, um, they leave a gap for cables to actually go in here. A lot of brands that do this don't leave that gap. Because remember, there's got to be a power cable that goes in here and goes down there. If this gap isn't there, you'd never get it on in the first place. But um, I just leave it off. Because otherwise, anytime I'd have to do anything, it would have to come off.